Hello there, it's TCG here and thanks again for watching our TCG video on my channel. As you know, Burning Shadow is now uh, available everywhere, uh, even on the online store. So we're going to open up some online packs for y'all today. Uh, as you know, I already opened uh, our real life booster box as well. So definitely go check out that video if you like uh, the real life videos uh, yeah, where you open some packs. It's a booster box video, so you'll definitely enjoy it. So here we have uh, not 36, but over 80 packs that we're going to open for y'all today. So this will be a long video. Grab some popcorn, your soda, whatever. This is going to be intense. We're going into the Burning Shadow set and hopefully we can pull uh, some sweet GXs. Uh, uh, this will be the result uh, on how uh, we're going to build our decks because uh, in uh, September we're actually gonna make decks without VS Seeker and uh, all these uh, stuff that got rotated out. If you want to learn more about the rotation definitely check the video in the description below and for now we are just gonna go into Burning Shadows. Burning Shadows is definitely a uh, set that will impact the format quite a bit since it, it comes with a lot of new uh, variety for decks. Also great supporters in here like Acerola and Kiawe. So this is the first pack online, let's see what we get. We have Surviper. Surviper is great for uh, the ability more poison, putting one more damage counter on your opponent's poison Pokemon between turns and this stack. So if we have four Surviper on the bench, this can actually uh, hurt yourself quite a bit if you got poison. Okay, and here we have the first rare, a Rankonet. Also something funny about this is that the bubble net actually makes it so your opponent cannot attach energies to their active. So also interesting. This is not a hollow, this is uh, just a regular rare, but we'll see what else we can pull. We definitely need some Guzmas and Acerola, so let's see what we got. Okay, we start off with Charizard GX. This is uh, interesting since uh, it has the Raging Out GX move that can discard 10 of the cards of the opponent's deck. So 10 cards is a lot and will be devastated. Maybe we can make a fun combo with Charizard GX and Garbodor because yeah, without uh, with discarding 10 cards, we definitely have something going. Uh, we just need to attach a rainbow and a DC. Yeah, maybe we can try something, but we do need to have some room in it. Also, other options are Hondoom EX, a little mill uh, deck that is quite some fun. Definitely check the video out about Charizard GX. I make weekly competitive uh, TCG videos, so about uh, the latest cards and decks. So next is, hopefully we can get another GX. Charizard was great, but we need uh, some better ones. Let's see, we have Guzma. Guzma is great. Rabombi also has uh, an interesting ability with the uh, Honey Gather. Once during our turn, we can search our deck for up to uh, two basic energies. So this can uh, add up to a lot of damage. And wow, I should put my phone on mute. Let's just uh, do this. All right. Uh, the rare in this pack is, wow, Macham GX. This is the worst GX. But still a uh, uh, sweet pull nevertheless. It's a GX and Gosma was also in that pack, so we definitely cannot complain. If you want to learn more about the, uh, the best GX cards, that also have a video about that. So the next one is, wow, GX is two in a row. How good is that? Salazzle GX works really well with the uh, uh, Volcanian EX. Uh, that way we can have uh, two energies attached to this guy and then uh, with two steam ups we were uh, we hitting 170 damage. So also uh, the uh, Queen Haze GX, not the best GX in the world, but that first attack, 50 damage times the uh, yeah, yeah prizes you already took. So this could add up to quite some neat damage. Maybe we can have a little fun deck. Okay, next up. So we already have three, G three GXs. I'd like to pull... What else do we want to pull? G Galissapod or maybe yes, the one we're looking for, Gardevoir GX. So in this pack, nothing useful. Uh, there was a, a Lycan Rock in there, midday form. Okay, what else? Pikachu, Noivan. Noivan is also in the set. It's kind of the new uh, Seismitoad uh, that actually uh, makes it so your opponent cannot play any item cards, a new item locking monster in the format. If you're enjoying videos like these, definitely let me know because uh, I like to uh, give information about... Wow, let's see. We have another GX, a Tapu Fini GX here. This is awesome. I know a friend that really wants to test this out in his Ninetales deck. Also, uh, yeah, I was mentioning if you like these videos, definitely uh, show some feedback below because uh, I definitely like to give information about the latest cards thanks to opening a lot of them online in a, in a row. Okay, let's see. We have Super Scoop Up, has been reprinted. Blue Marina, also a little fun card uh, that... Uh, Kind of does the same thing like Team Flaregrant, but you can also pick energies from the bench to discard. But you have to discard two cards in your hand to do it. Electivire, not good at all. Don't want to pull that one. Uh, the Lightning Support is uh, coming though with the Crimson Invasion. We have ourselves a uh, Raikou. And uh, yeah, also Raichu GX will be coming up soon. So here we have Weevil, another one that uh, will be played. Rule of Evil, dealing 60 damage to each Pokemon that has an ability, both yours and your opponent's. So that could be useful. Tormenting Spray, another fun card. So we already have a, a decent amount of GX, so that is definitely great. No Full Arts in sight though, so another Guzma, always great to pull that one. Here we have Malamar, definitely not a great rare. 
If you want to pull a rare, a little of Nine Tails will be your best bet as the the, the yeah the greatest GX actually non GX attacker since uh, it cannot be hit by EXs and GX. Yeah, so uh, definitely a great pull if you have to get that just a regular rare. While well, Nine Tails can also be uh, really satisfying. Okay, another Guzma here, and boom, we have Tank Road. Ooh, we are tangled in this web. Uh, yeah. We need another Ultra Rare, Galissapod and uh, Gardevoir are the best ones. And we get Heracross with the ability Guts, that way it can manage to hang on there just like a Focus Sash. Or actually Focus... I don't know, yeah, Focus Sash, whatever. Oh yeah, Acerola is in here, Kiawe, uh, Wishful Bat, also we made a video about the uh, Wishful Bat card. Another Weavile, that is great, maybe we can make a fun deck with Weavile. Could also uh, work out, maybe with Tapu Koku damage spread and Espeon devolving, we could have ourselves something uh, awesome. Uh, Man Lanakila, and then, then also uh, Olivia. This rare, boom, Electivire, we already have that. Mm. But still, there are 7 packs, are actually 70 packs, so uh, hopefully you're enjoying the content of Burning Shadows. I don't know why they print Heat more, they actually print uh, uh, Durant uh, as his worst enemy. And Durant is uh, always capable of discarding cards in his attack. So hopefully we see another milling card. That way we can pair it with Charizard. Because Charizard on its own is not the best uh, milling card. But paired with some partners could be great. And we have Ledian in here. And then boom! A Gyarados! Gyarados is great and expanded. Just use uh, the Battle Compressor. But if you're uh, playing Gyarados, why not play the other one? The other one that can attach multiple tools is a little bit better. I think it's from Ancient Origins. Let's see here. We are looking for Gardevoir. This is Bowtown, another stadium card that will replace the Magma Secret Base in the standard format just to pair it with Drompa. And boom! Another Charizard! Wow! Looks like Charizard will be our main uh, yeah, deck to start off with. I need some Darkrai as well. If we have Darkrai, maybe that can be the first deck that I'm gonna show on the channel. Let's see here. Boom! Toxicrobe. Ugh, don't need it. It's a Psychic type. It is weak to Garbodor. And here we have Muscle Dumbbells, uh, giving 40 extra HP to Stage 1 Pokemon. And uh, Scolipede, the, uh, another one of those regular rares that goes straight in the binder uh, for collecting people and straight into bulk if you're just a player. So here we have Kiawe Reverse, yeah, and another Weavile. So 3 Weavals, that is more than enough to test out a deck with Weavile. Maybe uh, a Noivern GX would also be much appreciated. And boom, Palosan. Fun fact, Palosan gets a GX and a Fighting type, nevertheless. Uh, coming uh, maybe in Crimson Invasion, we'll have to figure that one out. Guzma Reverse, awesome. And the rare, boom! Actually, in uh, TCG Online, I'm not hoping for the full art supporters. Just uh, in, uh, in real life, it's great, but on the TCG Online program, you just want the regular copies to play with. So uh, I'd rather pull a GX. So another Surviper. Surviper, uh, two of those. Let's see. We have... Yeah, Potown Reverse, and boom, another Aranquinid, ugh, Aranquinid is not the best. It uh, can be some fun with that first attack, but it fizzles out quite easily. And Kingdra, this is another great holographic card, look at that hollow, just so awesome. Can be one of those uh, niche decks that comes out of nowhere and just wins tournaments, only needs one energy to do both, as a, uh, both of his attacks, so another rare, bang, a Dusnor, another great holographic card, wow. Back-to-back uh, -back hollows here. Now Dark Invasion is a great ability. Once during your turn, you may have your opponent reveal their hand, which is always great to have some knowledge. And then they have, yeah, you can put a basic Pokemon you find there onto your opponent's bench and put three damage counters on that Pokemon. So, yeah, maybe we can try something out. Just imagine yourself, you find a Magikarp in there, well, you bench it and it dies immediately. Dustnor can do that. Another rare bang, Toxicroak. Ugh. We need Gardevoir and Galissapod, since those are the main decks to make, and I don't have them at the moment. Porygon Z, another, uh, this is a rare, and actually has the same ability as, uh, I think, uh, the Espeon EX's attack, Miraculous Shine, and uh, it actually states, when you play this Pokemon from your hand to uh, evolve one of your Pokemon, uh, you may devolve each of your opponent's evolved Pokemon by putting the highest stage, actually putting the, high, yeah, the highest stage evolution in their hand, so just like Espeon. But then an ability, that way you can still attack, but it's a stage 2 go to the rare candy. Acerola and bang, we have Meowstic and Kinesis dealing more damage depending on your hand size. So let's see. All commons we've already seen before and uncommons. Two rares at the back. We have 
Vile Plume, this custom Poland. This Vile Plume is actually uh, the, the reason I won my pre release, so that is great. And Braxis, oh, I don't ever ever want to pull a Braxis. I think it was also in the Sun and Moon base set. Now we're already at Sun and Moon Tree, wow, time is flying by. Another rare, bang, yes! Here we have a Glissapod, first impression. This is the first Glissapod, so maybe we need two more to make uh, that deck. We already have the Zoroark's online, so we'll have to make that deck first. Let's see. Two rares in the pack again. Shinodic with his, uh, yeah, tangled like that. And let's see. That's Darkrai. This is also great. Darkrai, uh, this will be put in Darkrai decks just because it can. It's a regular uh, attacker that only gets up one prize card while still being able to uh, hit for a huge amount of damage against EXs and GXs. Two rares in the pack again, Persian, and wow! <laughs> Secret Rare Fairy Energy. This will go straight to the trades, and uh, I will definitely get something nice for it, because some people like to collect the uh, Secret Rares online as well. I don't know why, but yeah, some people do that. We have Raichu, also a really playable holographic card, ability Evo Shock. When you evolve it, you automatically leave your opponent's active Pokémon paralyzed, so that can help out a lot in certain decks. Raichu. We're moving on here. Reverse Gloom and dang, another Palace so not a great holo. Rather pull uh, yeah, a King Draw as a holographic than that one. And here we have... Bang! It's Crabominable! Look at that art, man. He's just so happy in the snow, and uh, I am not happy pulling that one, so... I'm waiting with a lot of patience to pull ourselves another great playable GX. Otherwise, I have to trade a lot of stuff for the things that I want. Snap! What do we have? Ah, uh, Meow Stick! You are still standing in the way for me to build my decks. I don't need Meow Stick. Okay, the third Survivor is there. Three, two rares in the pack, Toxic Croak and the Bear, bang, Turtonator! Don't want to see you ever again in one of my packs, Turtonator. Get the hell out of here. Bang, Weevil, we have a full playset, hooray! Let's see. All the commons we've seen before, Potown! And bang, Electivire! Ugh, still keep pulling regular rares back to back. And here we have, bang, Lycanroc, really nice art, not the best, wow, somebody challenged me to a duel, sorry man, I am opening packs, I still want to pull myself some Burning Shadows, GXs in order for myself to build new decks, then I can battle. Okay, bang, we have Meowstick, get the hell out of my sight, you psychic little kitten, okay. Another sub Viper, sub Viper. Wow, Plumarina, Secret Rare, full. No, it's not a Secret Rare, it's a full art. So that means we have two cards that we can trade for possible GXs that we want. So, uh, yeah, that can happen. But we really need to pull Gardevoir. That will be the main card to get since everybody wants it. It's gonna be hard to get online as well. A rank on it and Toxic Croak. Man, that Toxic Croak did pop up in a lot of our packs already. Escape probe, and here we have Scullabeat. Go away. Okay. We still have 40 packs. Let's see. Come on, guys. Lunatone also has an interesting ability. Heal block goes pair to pair with that Soul Rock. If you have both of them in play, maybe with Bridget and stuff, you uh, actually block your opponent from healing. No more max potion. Wow, this is the first Sloking unarmed. If you have no cards in the hand, you deal 110 damage. So, for uh, without uh, paying the attack cost. So. Maybe a deck that uh, focuses on having zero cards, but then again, that will be terrible since that will be your main attacker, and uh, after it's knocked out in one shot, you have no cards in the hand. Toxic Croak, go away. I've had enough of your silly mistakes. I know you are coming in the new pocket tournament, but wow, yes, Neuvern. I really want to make a little fun deck with Neuvern. If we play Neuvern together with Garbodor, with Garbotoxin, that way we create an infinite ability lock, since uh, Field Blower will not be able uh, to put off the, uh, uh, the Float Zone on the Garbodor, since it, everybody will be item locked, actually your opponent will be the only uh, yeah, player being item locked, so that is great. Okay, Darkrai and Vileplume, quite a reasonable pack, no trainer cards in the pack, and that pack however, so two rares, could be worse. Acerola, Wobbuffet, also interesting, what we have here is Beware, mix it up. And boom! Slow King! We have two of those. 
Hooray! Come on, where are the GXs? Uh, we did not pull Muck, which is great. I don't want to pull a Muck. I want to pull another awesome GX that I can make a deck with straight from bed. We don't have more Shadow as well. More Shadow will be a great deck against things like Drampa and Zoroark, so we definitely need one. Only one would be efficient. Wow, Palos, I, mean, I think I have four of them now. Mm -mm -mm, not going great. We need something good. Also, no secret rare uh, Pokemon, only uh, secret rare energy. So maybe, uh, oh, or are they called, yeah, rainbow rares. We need one. Oh, Ninetales. That could be the, maybe the first deck we're gonna make. If we pull two more Ninetales, it would be great. The evolved version of Ninetales. Really want to play that. Let's see. Bang! What? Molamar, get the hell out of my sight! Molamar, Toxicro, Curtinator, you guys are ruining my video! Get out of here! And Sviper still keeps popping back for more! Beware! You also belong in the list of uh, Pokemon that we don't want to see anymore. We want to see the Bling Bling, the Ching Ching, that glamorous gold. We need it! It is! Toxic Croak? An army of Toxic Croaks are invading and Invading this video, so we need something to blast them away, and it is bang a broxious. I'm gonna throw that fish at that toxic rope so it stays away. So maybe we can have some luck here. We already have a bunch of GXs, but we need more. The Lycan Rock. This is a holographic I've never pulled before, and it can deal 60 damage if the opponent is an uh, yeah active Pokemon as a basic. So with the choice band, we can one shot Dark Ride GX. Okay, okay, I like it. Great Hollow. Haven't pulled it in real life, haven't pulled it online. This is the first time that I'm seeing it, actually. Boom! We have Radigate, the one that won the pre-release. Oh, actually, my deck is here. So the pre-release deck I made was Alolan Radigate with Vileplume. We play with Alolan Radigate, pay zero energies, and tank up a Vileplume on the bench while the opponent uses powerful basic GXs like Darkrai, and they don't, they can't attack Vileplume. So that was the pre-release deck I made to win. Next pack! Come on, Ultra Rares! We do have a full place out of Azeroth. Oh man! You! The trash is attacking me, guys. I did just say, said I don't want to pull an Alolan Muck, and yeah, that is me having my awesome karma by my side. We pull an Alolan Muck! Wow, our luck is actually running out. We are only having two, 22 packs. Potown! And boom! Ledian! What can he do? Oh man, it is garbage. But well, we haven't pulled it a lot like Toxic Crow. And rare! Bang! Another br oh, Braxis! You! Let me guys know if uh, you think the online pulls are just randomized as hell. I don't, I don't, I don't understand it. This is also a fun deck. Or actually no, the Mudsdale from Guardians Rising was a bit better than this one. That also did not see any play, so... Unless, yeah, Mudsdale will go straight into the garbage pile. Wow, another Gyarados. Maybe we can play and expand a, a split line between the Gyarados of Ancient Origin and this one. Guzma, hooray! This one is also something we need, another Raichu. Fun indeed. Let's see what we can get. We have... Bang! It is Heracross! Decent, but not quite what we want. Also, this marrow here reminds me of Yoshi Woolly World on the Wii U. <laughs> yeah. Okay, two rares. We have Darkrai and Porygon. Wow, great pack. Can't complain right there. What are the other GXs that are in this set? We have to remember. Another Darkrai. Wow, Darkrai on a spree. We have full playset. Volpix, Acerola, Cedra, we do need it for Kingdra, and Red. Wow, three Alolan. Actually, it's not an Alolan, it's just a regular rifle, which is surprising. Surprising, actually, because uh, yeah, they want to promote Sun and Moon Pokemon, and Persian is a. Uh, two stupid rares, really. Uh, guys. Where are we gonna go with this? We still need Galissapod or Gardevoir. So, no Gardevoirs and 70 packs. That would be mind blowing. But yeah, we can trade our secret rares. We have secret rare energy. Oh, wow, Toxicroak, really? Toxicroak? 
Dutch Crook is my worst enemy starting from today. Two rares, Zygar. This one has the most HP for a non-GX EX attacker. Actually basic as of yet. There will be another one that will go overboard, which is Reggie Gigas. But this as of yet is one of the highest actually the highest HP for a basic. Let's see. Yes! Neuber! At least we can make that as our first day. We only have two Neuberns, but I'm gonna trade for one anyhow, so. No Dark Rise, no Guard of Ours. Where are you guys? Are you hiding? Persian! Nope, we're not gonna get it. We have to trade a lot of stuff. So, uh, tomorrow's video will probably feature Neuvern or Nightdale. So, that will be the decks of choice. Unless we pull the Lissabon, that could also work out. Another Dark Eye, wow. Tapu Fini. I guess we have two Tapu Finis. Maybe we can trade one. What else? So a lot of GXs that we don't want. But still it's fun opening all these packs. Alright. All these comments we've seen before. Uncommon. Lana I didn't talk about before. Heals 50 damage on each of your Pokemon that has a water energy attached with Aqua Patch. We might have ourselves a great healing combo. Boom! Gyarados! Almost full place out of that. Kind of inconsistent and standard. And it will be better. What do we get here? Bang! It is Lydian! Lydian, whatever. Bam, bam, bam. Let's see. Two Buffalans in one pack. They knock me over, and we get Electrox. I love Lightning Pokemon, but this is not the best attacker. Needs three energies for a stage two. Okay. Let's see. Bang! Shinodic! Nope. How many packs do we have left? I think one or two. This is it, guys. Let's hope for the best. Marshadow. Whoa! What? Okay. Okay. I uh, think this actually made the video right there. If you enjoyed that little crazy freakish pull, Definitely destroy the like button with or beat down the like button. This is just I should become a psychic. We get a full art Mar Shadow GX to end the video. And uh, we still have one more pack, but that was just great. I love that ending. Okay. Last pack. Don't have any hope for this one, but that ball was just insane. Heracross, doesn't even matter. So let's just uh, have a little recap. Just go to Pokemon. Uh, yeah, let's just filter them out on the set Burning Shadows and then GX types. So what did we get? Uh, yeah, we got a Muck, we got two Charizards, we got a, uh, actually that Darkrai has ha had been traded for, so I already traded that before. We had Galissapod, we had a Machamp, we had Marshadow ending the video, we have two Neuburns, we have a Salazzle, two Tapu Finis, and actually I, three Tapu Finis? Or actually, yeah, I got this type of finish before. Okay, so that was the deal. And my pre-release kit, I already opened off camera. So, the thing here I see immediately is that we are cannot make it that quite as of yet. I have to trade for a lot of stuff. So, I think the first deck we're gonna make will be Alolan Ninetales upgraded version. So, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, uh, I actually mentioned it already. That show your support. Put something in the comment section. Let me know what you got at your, uh, yeah, Burning Shadows pre-release at your box or online. I am always curious about your polls. And uh, also, I should mention that we got some ultra rares as well. I'm actually gonna show them, which was the Fairy Energy. Uh, yeah, just put it like this. Okay. We also had Kingdra, some Raichu, some Vile Plumes as an overkill. We had, yeah, we also have the filter here, which is kind of weird. I actually filled it for Burning Shadows Hall. So we have this awesome Plume Arena, which will go for trade. And uh, also this awesome looking energy. It is that Secret Rare energy, which will also go for trade. So hopefully you had a blast with Burning Shadows. There will be more videos, TCG Online matches coming. Hopefully on a daily basis if I can uh, have some luck with my trades. Otherwise, yeah, you'll have to, uh, yeah, hold your horses. We are definitely gonna make every possible deck and I'm gonna review it and make a little match with it. So hopefully you guys are stoked for that. I'll be seeing you guys soon enough. And uh, yeah, thanks again for watching guys. You guys rock. Peace out. Oh, 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 oh,